Hello, and welcome to Math 081 Online for the Summer 2020 session. I am Jennifer Caldwell, and I am going to be your instructor for the next eight weeks. In this video, I'm going to share with you my top five tips for success in Math 081, and I'm also going to share with you some strategies to manage your time so we can successfully complete this course together. Here are the top five things that you should do for success in Math 081. The first thing you should do is make sure that you know how to log into Canvas. This will help you stay up to date on all announcements, all due dates, and all your assignments. And you want to make sure that you're logging in on a daily basis. Every single day you should be logging into Canvas. One of the things I really recommend is that you enable certain push notifications to your device. Once you download the student app for Canvas, you can have notifications pushed to your device so you never miss a due date. When you're in Canvas, if you click on your icon where it says account in the left hand side, and then if you click on notifications, you will be able to enable certain notifications that will be pushed to your device. I highly recommend you enable any due dates. I also recommend you enable announcements. And I also recommend you enable the grading. That way, anytime a new due date is posted, you'll get a push notification to your phone or your tablet or wherever you have the app. You'll also get a push notification if I post a new announcement, and you'll also get a push notification when grades are updated. That way you'll be sure that you never miss anything and you can always stay on top of your assignments and of your grades in the class. The next thing that you should do for success is to come to our virtual classes. Now, I know this class is a fully online class, which gives you the flexibility to complete assignments on your own time schedule. But two times a week, I will be holding optional live class sessions. This will allow you and I and other class members of the class to sit down together, but from the comfort of our own home and go over the material. This gives me the opportunity to teach you little mini lessons or to answer any questions that you have on the material. It's just like being in the classroom together but we're sitting at our own house and I can show you how to solve the problems that you have questions on. It's really easy to access our virtual classroom. When you're in Canvas, all you do is you click on the link Cranium Classroom. That will bring you to our live virtual classroom. That allows you to see me through my webcam and I can then answer any questions that you have using the tools that I have on my end to explain the math. You can also show me your work through your webcam if you're having trouble with a certain problem and I can help you troubleshoot. So Cranium Classrooms is where you will access our live virtual classes each week. Step three, get help. In addition to asking me for help, we have so many great tutors at MCC that can help you with your math. And even though the tutoring center is closed for physical meetings this summer, it's going to be open virtually online. So when you're back in Canvas, all you have to do is click on the MCC Math Tutors link. This will bring you to a list of all of our math tutors. Any math tutor that's online, all you have to do is click on the icon that says ask a question and then you'll be face to face through your webcam with an MCC math tutor and they will be there to help you with any questions that you have. The hours of operation you can see are listed on the website or you can look in the course syllabus. Another option for online tutoring is right underneath the MCC Math Tutors link, you click on online tutoring. This brings you to BrainFuse. This is another option you have for online tutoring. So you have lots of options available to you. Step four, make a schedule. It's very, very important that you schedule the time that you're going to work on your math assignments throughout the week. One of the things that you want to make sure that you're looking at when you're in Canvas is the weekly routine that I've suggested you follow. So in the Getting Started module, there is a weekly routine for Math 081. Watch the video for the suggested weekly routine and then I also have some links posted to help you create your own weekly schedule if you've never created one before for an online class. Finally, stay connected. Reach out to your other classmates. Reach out to me. Reach out to the tutors for support. We're here to help each other. Just because it's an online class 
and you might be working on the assignments by yourself at home, it doesn't mean you're taking the class by yourself. You can use the chat features in Canvas, the discussion boards, the virtual tutors to connect with lots of people that can help you. And remember, you got this. Finally, I would like to end with six time management tips that will really help you be successful in this class. Number one, plan ahead. You have to make a routine. If you don't plan for it, it's not gonna happen. So plan out the days of your week and make sure you have time for your assignments. Number two, avoid multitasking. I know it's hard when we're at home and we have our devices and our computer and our social media and everything that's available to us, but just work on one thing at a time. Sometimes we think we can get several things done at once, but we wind up getting nothing done. Step three, have an organized workspace. Make sure you have a dedicated area that you look forward to sitting down at and doing your work. You shouldn't be working on your bed or on your couch or on the floor <laughs> in the living room. Create your own workspace and the people that live with you need to respect that workspace. Let them know that when you're in your workspace, you're at school and you're trying to focus. Keep your materials nice and organized so when you sit down, you know it's time for work. Four, block out dis distractions. Again, try not to have your social media or video games or anything else running in the background while you're trying to work on your math. Five, reward yourself. You're working hard. You're making progress. Give yourself little rewards along the way. Maybe after a solid 30 minutes or 45 minutes of work, get up and take a walk. Take the dog outside, have a snack. Maybe you give yourself a little bit of time to surf the web or reach out to friends on social media. Give yourself little rewards for a job well done. That way you'll look forward to your next work session. And finally, number six, make sure you're resting. Get a good night's sleep. Keep your mind fresh for each new day. And also in between your work sessions, Get up, walk around, get that blood flowing so that you're ready to come down and start a new work session, okay? I hope these tips were helpful to you. I really look forward to meeting all of you very soon in the class. And again, remember, I'm here to help you. Your other classmates are here to help you. The tutors are here to help you. We got this. Here's to a great summer.